Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Sparkside, and today I want to show you what I consider to be one of the best vlogging setups or YouTube setups that you can buy for under $700. Stay tuned. So the camera I started off filming my drone videos on YouTube was the Lumix FZ300, which is right here. And I wanted to show you the, the setup that I have on it because to me, this setup right here is really a great, great place to start. The FZ300 is less than, less than $400 for the camera. Now it does not have an interchangeable lens, but the lens that comes on it is pretty decent. It's got pretty decent uh, autofocus if you know how to set it up properly, which is not that hard to do. And it has this screen that flips around so you can actually do selfie mode just like this and see yourself and see everything that's going on as far as your levels and your uh, display and all that. If you can see right there, you can actually see the VU meters moving up and down. And I can see that that is coming through this Rode Wireless Go microphone. Now that's number two, the Panasonic FZ300 Lumix camera, number one, the Rode Wireless Go, number two. This is about $200. And then finally, number three is this little uh, tripod that I wanna talk about. But let's go back to the camera real quick. The Lumix FZ300 is very small, lightweight, compact, and yet it packs quite a punch. You can record 4K, 30 frames per second. You can record 1080 at 60 frames per second. But the two big killer features on this camera are the fact that A, it has this flip around screen. So if you're doing vlogging and you wanna be able to see yourself, it's very easy to see, the, see yourself. And number two, it has an external mic jack. Most uh, point and shoot cameras do not have an external mic jack, this one does. Why is that important? Because the audio quality is gonna be so much better from an external mic jack. Let me talk right into this camera for a second. You're hearing this through the wire Rode Wireless Go right now, and I think the sound quality is pretty good. So I'm wearing a mic that's connected to those cameras over there, but I've also got this mic sitting right here that I could clip directly to my shirt if I wanted to. Let me do that real quick. That's what I love about the Rode Wireless Go too, is you don't even need a lavalier. You can actually clip this on or set it on the table or the desk or whatever, and it's got a built-in microphone that transmits directly to the receiver. Now check out the sound quality. Let's pull uh, the audio off of the Lumix camera that's going through the Rode. And that is the sound quality that you're getting through this microphone. Now let me just go ahead and just pull out the mic for a second. Now you're hearing it through the built-in mic, which is not gonna be as good. And that's my whole point, is having this external mic jack, and no, no camera's built-in mic is gonna be as good. Having this external mic jack that allows you to put an external high-quality microphone onto the camera and record it is gonna really up your production value. I often tell people that as far as video goes, the most important thing in video is not actually video, it's audio. If people can't hear you, they can't really get the message. If your focus is a little off, or if your picture quality is not that great, or the color's off, it's not a big deal as long as they can hear you. So really got to focus on that um, audio setup. Now the Rode Wireless Go fits right on top into the hot shoe up here. And as I said, you can either wear it or you can connect a lav to it. I'm currently wearing it and talking into it like this. And then with this little, um, I'm not even sure how you say, say the name of this tripod. There are several different manufacturers that make this same tripod. But with this thing, you could set this on a table, you could set it on a, um, a bench, you could set it on the ground, you could set it just about anywhere and use this little tripod as your go-to for recording things out in the field. Now, I like it because it's super small and compact. It also gives you the ability to make it taller if you wanna pull these legs out and extend the height of it a little bit. So the other thing you can do that's really cool with this is you can switch from A to B here, and when you, when you move this little lever, these legs will now go down almost completely flat. So if you want a really low angle from the ground or you're shooting something on the ground, this allows you to get the camera very close to the ground, but it's still very stable. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna get tipped over. So I really like that about it. So, and then finally, if you switch it back over to the B slot here, then they won't go down. But what you can do, now you can use it as a selfie stick. So you can walk around like this, you can be wearing your mic, so your audio quality is gonna be really good. You can see yourself in it just like this, you can keep yourself centered, and it's gonna stay in focus, and it's gonna work really well. So overall, to me, this is just a fantastic setup for doing YouTube or vlogging. It's super lightweight, very compact, shoots 4K, 
And if you learn the Panasonic menu system, which is what this uses, you can upgrade to like a GH5 or the new uh, G100, which is actually in between here and a GH5. It's a micro four thirds camera, high quality, interchangeable lenses, but not as expensive as the GH5. So there's lots of opportunity to learn the Panasonic menu system and then go from the FC300, which is kind of at the lower end, up into other cameras. And also, generally because um, most manufacturers use the same processing in their cameras, the colors are gonna match. If you use this with the GH5, you can actually get them to look pretty similar, which is a really nice thing. I'm not saying that this is the end all be all or highest end camera you can get. It's not by any means. But for someone who's just starting out and wants to do some vlogging, this is a great little camera. It's also a nice point and shoot for taking photographs. So that's it. If you wanna check these things out, we'll have links below to the Panasonic FZ300, the Rode Wireless Go, as well as this little tripod. Check them out. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time on SparkSight. Thanks for watching.